I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to use the adjustment layers which are down here in Photopea. They're down there, you see, it's a circle that's been chopped in half, it says new adjustment layer to transform your photographs. Okay, so I'm going to click on the adjustment layer um, and I'm going to show you some of the main ones. The first one I want to show you is the threshold adjustment layer. So I'm going to click on that. Photopea takes a few seconds to think about what you want to do. So bear, bear with, bear with when uh, it lags a little bit. So it's sort of preset it in the middle. And if you take it all the way to the other end, it's going to go white all the way that way. It's going to go black. But if you bring it down slightly, you can start bringing out the textures and the grains in that curtain um, and create um, quite a striking image of a very simple photograph that I've taken of my curtains against the wall. Okay, so there we go, there's there's one. Um, let's have a look at another one. So uh, let me see, oh, the milk bottle top. Right, the milk bottle top, I think would also benefit from a threshold adjustment layer. So I'm gonna go down here, down to the bottom, click on that circle that's been chopped in half, that's your adjustment layers. I'm gonna choose threshold, bear with photo P whilst it thinks about it. Um, drag it down but then start dragging it back up until you're happy with the effect. I quite like that because you can kind of see that it's a milk bottle top but only if you look really closely. Now the other thing I want to do to this picture is that I'm not happy where the position of that milk bottle top is so I'm going to crop it. So down the left hand side are your other tools here I'm going to click on the crop tool and I'm going to crop it so that it becomes more centered in that rectangular frame. Press enter. Nice. Okay, the next one I'm going to show you, I'm um, using the photograph of my lemon juicer. I'm gonna go down to the adjustment layer down here and I'm going to change it into a black and white. So I'm gonna click on the black and white now the black and white has lots of different levels and you can see actually that even though it has taken the colours out black and white it still looks quite bluey there are still some colours in it so I'm going to drag some of these levels up until I get an effect that I like now I've done this one before and actually using this yellow toggle it seems to take a lot of the blue out so if I drag that toggle up it starts to become you can still see it's a juicer but then I felt this started to look really stylized, a set of shadows and curves um, with just whites and greys and I really like the look of that. So I'm happy with that. Okay, click on that little pro properties box there to get rid of your layers panel. Happy with that. I could go to file, export as a JPEG and save it to my device. Next one I'm going to do is my legs. So I took a picture of my legs and the wrinkles in my trousers and I'm going to add an adjustment layer to that and um, I'm going to have a go at um, oh I'll try a gradient map on that one see how that looks get a different color to it oh that looks cool click on here have a little play about see what you can do with that starting to look less like legs and more like a really cool abstract photograph okay um, now the last one I'm going to show you is the inside of a milk bottle. This is my particular favourite and I'm going to show you on this one how to use polarise or I always call it polarise, it's not polar, posterise, posterise. So you click on that and it actually defaults to quite a nice effect because if you start tinkering with it, it, it really doesn't work that well for quite a lot of these bigger numbers but if you drag it down you can start to see that it is doing starting to do something to that image when it's in this area of the levels here so it's all going off on this area up here not much goes on down here so you can see that it's starting to bring in some pinks and some yellows and even that's quite nice bring in a bit more some greens coming in there a lot bit darker pinks and greens okay and when you're happy with it you're done, aren't you? You're done. Um, if you're not happy with it, click on it. Click on the trash can, get rid of it. Go back to your adjustment layers. Um, maybe try threshold. Ooh, 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 
Ooh, that looks pretty cool. You can still see a little outline of the, of the cow on that milk bottom there. That looks really good. Okay, once you're happy with them, you go to File, Export as a JPEG, and save it to your device. And that is pretty much it. Have fun!